Okay, still more examples. Although these, these problems don't have as many parts as the last one. So here we're looking at a quadratic and we're asked to find two things, just two simple parts. Does the graph have a maximum or a minimum? Now remember for a parabola the max or min is going to be the vertex regardless of whether it, the vertex is a max or a min. It's going to have one of the two, not both, and we call that the vertex. To have a max, the vertex has to be at the top of the parabola. So the parabola has to open down. To have a min, the vertex has to be at the bottom. And we just got through with the examples talking about how if the graph opens down A is negative and if the graph opens up A is positive. The A in both standard and vertex form. Here is the standard form. So determining whether it has a max or a min is the same thing as determining whether the parabola opens up or opens down. So if we look for our a, we don't see a number. We see a negative sign, but we don't see a number. Again, if you put a 1 right in front of the x between the negative and the x, you're going to see that minus 1 is our value for a. And that really doesn't change anything because minus 1 times x squared, that's just complicated notation for minus x squared. So they're the same thing. So in our case, our a in this problem is negative. It's less than 0. So the graph opens down, which means the vertex is a max. Part B asks us what the range of this quadratic is. The domain of every quadratic, of every polynomial in fact, as we'll see in a few sections, is always everything, minus infinity to infinity. But the range, this has a max, so it's going to be everything from minus infinity up to the highest y value that can be achieved by this parabola. And the highest y value is simply the y value of the vertex, because the vertex is this highest point, and range deals in y values. So in this case, because the vertex is a max, the range is going to be, oops, you always do parentheses with infinities, from minus infinity all the way up to k. And it will include k, the y-coordinate of the vertex. So what we need to do is we need to find k. Well, to find k, we need to know what h is, because k is simply f of h. And h, for a parabola, is minus b over 2a. Or at least that's how we get it. That's how we get h from the standard form. Now b is 6, and a is minus 1. So we have minus 6 over minus 2, and that's minus a minus 3. So h is plus 3, or just 3. So we take that h and plug it back in for x 
to find k. So we're looking for f of 3, and that's going to be minus 3 squared plus 6 times 3 minus 8. So 3 squared is 9. Remember, square first before multiplying by the negative, or negative 1. 6 times 3 is 18. So minus 9 plus 18 is a 9, I believe. Then subtract 8, and we get 1. So the range for this function is, oops, I'm doing an interval notation. And I'm never requiring interval notation. But you do have to read it. And this is saying that y can be anything up to and including 1. That's simply because we have a max. We have y values from 1 down. And nothing, no y values occur above 1. That was thankfully short enough that we might be able to fit in another one. So on 48, we're looking at 3x squared plus 12x minus 5. So here, it's pretty clear. A is 3 b is 12, and c is the minus 5. So, in order to tell whether the vertex is a max or a min, we need to look at a, because whether the vertex is a max or a min is whether or not the graph opens down or opens up. And that's determined based on the sine of A. And since A in our case is 3, and 3 is positive, or in other words, greater than 0, the graph will open up, which means the vertex, the extreme value, will be a minimum. So our range for part B, our range is going to be all y values greater than or equal to k. Or if you put this in interval notation, the lowest is k, and you can get as large of a y value as you like. Because just looking at a graph that opens, a parabola that opens upwards, our smallest y value will be at the vertex here. And we can get y values of any size. You know, anything larger, we can get that y value. But we'll never get any y values lower than the min. So we need k, and to get k, we need h. And h, if we know the standard form, is minus b over 2a. So b if I recall, is 12, and A, in our case, is 3. So H is minus 12 over 6, which is minus 2. And K is F of H, just plugging minus 2 into X. So that's 3 times minus 2 squared plus 12 times minus 2 minus 5. So this is 3 times 4. 12 times minus 2 is a minus 24. So 3 times 4 is 12, plus 12 
plus or minus 24 is the same thing as subtracting 24. 12 minus 24 is minus 12, and then we have to subtract 5. So minus 17 is our answer. Or rather, not our answer, but the y coordinate of the vertex. That's the minimum y value. So we can get any y value that's minus 17 or larger, which means our range is y can be anything greater than or equal to minus 17, or put in interval notation, minus 17 to positive infinity, including the minus 17.